Hi, welcome to Unit 4 of our Application Development class in Android. In this unit, we're going to talk about implicit intents and managing lists of things. So let's talk about the details of which programs we're going to build. So first of all, we're going to create two different programs that manage the lists. We'll talk about a simple list, which is just a single, a single string per line, and then we'll talk about a custom list adapter, which allows us to put multiple things on each line, such as you see in this icon here with a check mark and two lines of text. So this is what the program will look like. It's called List View Demo. It's pretty simple. We'll create a list of people. These people will have a picture, they will have a name and an age, and we can sort them, we can add them, we can uh, delete them. And so that's our program that we're going to create using lists. So the second topic that we'll cover in this unit is the photo app. And so we're going to tell the phone to take pictures for us. So this is what the photo app will look like. We'll have a place for a picture to be shown, and we can take a photo or we can load a photo. So loading a photo goes to the image gallery and selects one that's already been taken, maybe yesterday or a thousand years ago, but the photo is already on the phone. And then we'll have a list button which will show us the list of everything that we've uh, taken a photo of. So this will tell you how to use the camera. So in addition to the camera, we'll try other intents. We'll make a phone call, and so we'll just have to provide a string, a phone number, and then we'll hand it off to the Android operating system, which will make the call for us. There are actually other intents that we'll try. So we'll have a web browser be uh, instantiated. Uh, we'll make a phone call. We'll be able to send email, and we'll be able to do texting. And so all of these will be demonstrated in an app called Android Services. And so this is actually a pretty simple app that does an amazing amount of work because it's already built into the phone services. So we'll have the list, and then after we figure out how to show the list, we'll add the ability to use all of these intents. So for every person in our list of friends, we'll be able to save a picture, we'll be able to make phone calls, we'll be able to send them an email and a text, and also find their web page. And uh, I think I failed to put on there, but we'll also be able to take their address string and show the Google Maps pin. So all of those things will be packaged into our list program. So topic four has quite a few things that are interesting and quite easy to do once you get the right code. So let's get started in the next video.